Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and in this video we're going to be doing that Battlestar Galactica zooming, framing thingamabob, that shot there. That's what we're going to be doing, and we're going to try and do that real time from scratch. Now, I've already got the blend file open, so if we see, just kind of scrubbing through it, whoops, beautiful, really simple, nice and easy. Um, for those of you who have been following my tutorial channel for a while now would know that we've covered how to make this debris field in previous videos. There'll probably be a link in the description if you want to know how to do that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by going shift A and let's add in a camera. And then I'm going to move it all the way back. Control numpad zero. And let me just turn on my screencast keys. Whoop. And so let's have a look. What's, what does this camera look like? So what I can do is I can press R to rotate and that'll kind of rotate along the axis or I can double tap R and then it'll kind of actually move around. So what I'm trying to work out is we've got this shot here. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this camera position. I'm gonna come down to the bottom and delete this keyframe that I've already created. I've got auto keyframing enabled down the bottom here. So there we go. Now it's on, now it's off, now it's on. Herba derp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with, I'm going to place the camera kind of very far off screen. And then let's go maybe 200 frames and I'm gonna do a pan. I think 200 frames might be a little bit too much. So let's bring it back. Whoops, I'm gonna select that keyframe down the bottom and bring it back a little bit. Can you see? Yes, you can. So if we kind of scrub the timeline and then what we're going to do probably maybe around here, let's go RR, uh, uh, let's find our ship that we want to target. So that's our ship that we want to target. But I say, I reckon from probably about here, we start zooming in. So we're going to go into the camera properties and we're going to change the focal length. So I'm going to right click and insert a keyframe. All right. And then when we get probably about here-ish, let's zoom right in on that ship, right click, replace keyframe. All right. So we've kind of got that. Rotate, rotate. And I'm going to hold shift so it moves kind of like uh, slower. And there we go. And then we're just going to kind of just roughly guesstimate where this thing's going. Technically, because it's a curve, I would be following a little bit because you don't want the camera to be kind of preemptive on where it goes. So you know that the camera's kind of got that motion of moving. Keep going. And then we could even, if we wanted to zoom in onto the other ship, which is over here. There we go. And so it'll fly past that one. This is a problem where we don't have that kind of nice swoop. So I'm tempted to even bring it down here a little bit so that the camera kind of goes around the seat, not kind of go bam straight in. So now we should have kind of, there we go. And then let's just kind of finish it off. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> uh -huh. There it is. It's a little bit tricky in this mode. There we go. Currently spinning upside down. We can rotate it like that. And let's just keep following that along. And it's as if the cameraman's trying to keep up. Now, if we were to zoom in and press play, let's have a look, what do we got? That's so cool. <laughs> so it's a very short tutorial on how to create that kind of Battlestar Galactica shot. If you like it, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps up to date my content. Also, don't forget to check out Mark on 3D Studio where this shot from this shot for a short film is over on that channel. All my animated short films are going to be on that channel. So go over there, watch the film. Like and subscribe over there as well. Really helps me out. I made a fart noise with my hands. <laughs> I'll see you next time.